So I think yesterday at this time, we were talking about a story from a Fox affiliate up in Chicago that was uh, essentially saying, hey, Springfield, Illinois is the second most dangerous city in Illinois. But is that the case? Uh, Is that uh, a real representation to the statistics that we see in Illinois and in particular in Springfield? Uh, Well, apparently that story has now been taken off of Fox's website, Uh, so I'm pulling it up now where I had it linked before in my show prep. Uh, And if you uh, go to the search, the Fox affiliate website, it says, sorry, page requested. It's not found. You got a 404 error there. Uh, So what's going on here? It was uh, not a lot of detail in the story to begin with, but, you know, we see these lists come out all the time. Uh, Different lists like, you know, the top searched conspiracy theories for all the states or you know the the top uh, areas of Springfield that have the uh, the most pay for lawn care uh, all these different lists come out from all over the place but are they fully vetted uh, and I think it's an important question especially as somebody who is on the air and I'll you know take responsibility looking at a Fox affiliate website uh, about this story I thought it was interesting to kind of get some of your reaction uh, but is that necessarily the case? To delve into this a bit further and to better unpack the importance of statistics, who's reporting these statistics, maybe there are cities that aren't reporting these statistics. Uh, Josh Stunkel, he is the Assistant Chief of Police here in Springfield. He joins us now. Uh, Josh, thanks for taking time with us this morning. And uh, I guess just lay it out there, your understanding of this report and where the statistics ultimately are coming from. Good morning, Greg. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I was listening uh, to your segment yesterday, and I heard that story, and I, you know, got to work, and first thing I did was try and figure out where did those stats come from, and I went to the Fox 32 story, and they didn't really have a lot of background on uh, where they came up with that stat. Um, called them, they referred me to a local reporter, couldn't get a hold of that person, and uh, really never found the accurate stats that would have uh, portrayed that. Well, and, and as I said this morning, uh, knowing I was going to talk to you to kind of uh, unpack some of this uh, a bit further, uh, the Fox affiliate took it off their website, uh, which in itself uh, speaks volumes, right? Well, you know, they were very apologetic. They said, you know, that they hadn't uh, vetted the story either. I appreciate your you know, apology this morning. And, and I think that's, you know, part of the responsible reporting is, uh, you know, recognizing when there was a mistake and now having me on today so that we can address it. Yeah, and and Josh, just to you know, kind of talk a little bit further about this, and we get these lists all the time from different places, uh, and it's a lot of different compilations of numbers. Uh, but talk about, I mean, listen, I, I'm looking at another list here. Uh, it's from PopulationU.com, most dangerous cities in Illinois. Uh, breaks down some of the statistics, talks about you know different types of crimes. This does have uh, Springfield as listed number two with 45.4, and I'll just pull this up again um, uh, so people can see it if they're watching online, but I, you know, we're listed as second per capita, um, but this might this might even not even tell the whole story, right? Because there are some municipalities that might not report as honestly as, say, Springfield does. So that could, that could possibly skew those numbers, is that right? So the population U, I did see that study. Um, they are using the NIBRS data, it's National Incident based reporting system, which is what everyone is supposed to be switching to. Um, all law enforcement agencies are supposed to report to the federal government using this NIBRS system. Now, not everyone's up to date on that. And if you look at the bottom of that study, they indicate that only 300 and some cities in the state actually responded or that they used data from only 300 studies. Yeah, it's 320 of, the 950. of 934, so a lot of your major cities, right. You know, the, the top population cities in in Illinois are not included. You know, there's no Chicago, there's no Joliet, no Peoria. They're not, they're not included in that study. And that's why we end up on their study looking like number two. Yeah. uh, So just getting some more clarity here from the uh, Springfield Police Department, Joshua Stunkel with us. He is the assistant uh, chief of police and uh, getting a a better understanding of how these numbers are reported. And I remember even uh, a couple of weeks ago doing the council roundup every week that uh, police chief Scarlett talked about how, uh, you know, some of the, the crime stats are changing from year to year. How does Springfield look compared to years previous? So we are, you know, 2022 was, you know, a down year as far as a violent crime. Um, shootings, shots fired, we saw big reductions. Um, we're down 
shootings 40% decrease in shootings and almost, uh, well, it's 36% in homicides. Our shots fired, confirmed shots fired numbers are down as well for 2022. And a lot of that is due to, you know, the proactive officer, uh, efforts of our officers who are out there every day um, taking guns off the street to prevent those situations. Last year, we had another record year in gun seizures. And we recovered over 500 firearms. So again, uh, just uh, better understanding these stats, uh, the difference between uh, violent crime and other types of crime. These things, uh, obviously, when you get down into the gritty numbers, uh, it's best to know exactly where those numbers are coming from. Uh, But uh, I really, you know, I think the story here is not about who's ranked on this list, right? I think the story is there's still a lot of municipalities uh, and, uh, you know, almost half the population uh, not being reported in, in this data. Uh, talk a bit about that that new system and uh, how Springfield was quick to adapt to that system of reporting these statistics out. So we were really on the front end of that. I uh, had some grant money that helped us along in that, but it really uh, is the efforts of our records employees. They stay on top of that and work very hard to keep those numbers accurate and to get them in reported on time. But there is even a delay in that. Uh, you know, it takes a little while to get through all of the reports during a given month and uh, to report those accurately. Yeah. And again, uh, the, you know, when we look at this list from Population U, it has Springfield listed as second. But as uh, the assistant police chief uh, rightly points out here, uh, if you scroll all the way down, you will clearly see that uh, only 328 of 934 reporting agencies have reported, and that only covers 7.8 million people in Illinois. Illinois's got, what, uh, 12.8 million people? So, yeah, obviously there's a lot more of uh, these these agencies that need to report these numbers out, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll be looking at that a little bit closer. Uh, appreciate the clarity. Uh, Assistant Police Chief uh, Joshua Stunkel, thank you so much for taking time with us. And uh, I imagine we'll connect again soon so that you can correct, uh, correct the record in the future, all right? Thanks, Greg. Those numbers, our numbers are available on our website. We have a transparency page. If you want to see crime stats, if you want to see what crime is happening in your area of the city, all of that's available on our website. And do you have that website uh, off the top of your head? No. <laughs> Springfield dot il dot us and if you click on transparency i just pulled it up here uh but if you click on transparency you can uh, start clicking through and uh, look at all of the different uh, uh various information they have available uh including more detail about uh, the shared principles and community engagement and all of that again springfield dot il dot us click on transparency uh, and you'll find out more uh joshua stonkel thank you so much for taking time with us the assistant chief police uh, for the city of Springfield. We'll talk again soon, all right? Thanks, Greg. It is Springfield's morning news, now 819, and let's take a look at Springfield's dependable five-day forecast, where today you've got yourself a high of around 63 degrees, possibility of some showers and storms, the low down to around 45 with a continued chance of showers. Thursday, sunny with a High of 39. That's only going to be after the temperature drops throughout the day. Then Thursday night, low of 20. Could be blustery. Friday, we're looking at mostly sunny skies. 35 the high. And Saturday, mostly sunny. 47 the high. By Sunday, mostly sunny with a high of 56. Right now, 819. And it's about 44 degrees, overcast skies on WMAY. It's time to apply at Culver's West on Wabash. We're hiring all 